Hey y'all, so we at the storage unit and um, he's about to switch the stuff to the other unit. I'm gonna get the balloon machine, the ribbon, the cake stands, and baby girl's doorknob for her room. It's in here somewhere. And he's gonna move all the stuff. So, yeah. So what you put in? Yours. You say what? What's that? What's the so, I'm about to get some of these and I'm gonna get there. I'm not really, I'm not gonna lift anything. I'll just probably um, move this once he loads it. But both units are right beside each other, ironically. So, you know. Anywho, I'll talk to y'all later. All right, so this is my unit and this is the one we had. They literally gave us the one right beside it. So yeah. Okay, hey, y'all, so I found the party stuff. And then these are the two doorknobs that I had. I got them from Home Goods like a couple years ago. This one was $12.99. This one came from Marshalls for $12.99. This one is bigger, so I'm just gonna bring both of them. But you see how I was saying I need to spray paint one side of them gold, probably because inside of the room is gold. So I'm gonna bring both of them. I also found my hot curlers. So I'm gonna get those a try for the maternity shoes. And then Ronnie has some more hangers in here that he wanted to bring. That's all the party stuff. Well, we're almost done. All right, y'all, so we finish. We just gotta move those. Those are pizzas to the sleep number bed that my parents gave us. It's actually a king size, but it won't fit in my house. So I still saved it and broke it down. This is the stuff that we're about to put on here and take to the car. And this is the new unit. We still have space. There's some stuff at my mom's house that we need to store as well, but yeah. Hey y'all, so it's still Thursday, um, May 14th, it's 3.25. I just got off of a, a virtual meeting with my job. Um, but baby girls, they finally found one of the rugs, which was baby girls nursery rug that came. I put it down on the floor. It's really soft. I really like it. Um, it's not that big. Um, because I didn't want something that went under her crib and under the dresser. I wanted the wood floors to show. So I put that down. Ronnie's still asleep. He hasn't seen it. And then I have the knobs that he needs to put on the door. I think I'm going to put the larger one on my door because that's what I originally bought it for. And the smaller one on hers. And then I just need to get in there and go through and do some more laundry and stuff. My sister gave me another box of clothes, another bag of clothes. <laughs> so I have to put that stuff away and sort through it. And I, I know I need to do another load of three-month laundry. Um, I think we're good on the newborn stuff. Um, they still don't know where my living room rug is. It's still in transit to Bowie, Maryland since Saturday. Today's Thursday. So I'm trying to be patient. I'll try to give it until... Um, next Saturday or probably Monday. We'll see about that. But I really wanted that rug too so that I could see my table on top of it and just see how it fits into the room. But I'm trying to be patient with that. Um, I have an order of a three pack of Lysol wipes, no Clorox wipes coming tomorrow. I just ordered some more today and they'll get here by the end of the month, another three pack. So I just keep splitting the packs with my parents' house. But I also send them out to like my friends and family and stuff like that. Um, and then what else do I have coming? Um, I did return. You guys saw me return that hideous pink um, maternity dress. But I ordered a new one and hopefully it's going to get here next week because next weekend is the pictures. I did find my, find my hot curlers in, in my storage unit. So I'm going to give those a try. Sorry about that, guys. I had a work call come in. But yeah, I ordered a new dress from Etsy. Hopefully, it'll get here on time because I need it for next week. Um, What else? Uh, like, I like I said, I, I ordered a three-pack of Clorox wipes. Those are coming tomorrow. Ordered another three-pack today. They'll be here at the end of the month. I've just been splitting them with my parents, giving them, giving them, sending the link out to my close family and friends. And they've been ordering them as well. Um, what else am I waiting for? I had the prints that I ordered for downstairs and baby girls' rooms. Um, 
I ordered prints for a gallery wall in the basement and then I ordered some prints to fill frames in baby girl's nursery. Um, those are supposed to come this weekend, Friday or Saturday. So hopefully they'll come. I ordered those from Snapfish. My mom absolutely loved the Shutterfly album um, from Vacation. Um, she loved it. You guys can hear Ronnie snoring in the basement. Like, that man tired. Anyway, um, she loved those. So I ordered the prints. Those will be here this weekend. My light for my master bedroom, my bandolier is coming tomorrow. And I cannot wait. I'm going to have him install it as soon as they drop it off. It's coming UPS though. And UPS does not drop off until like 7 or 8. Yesterday, I was waiting until 8.15. He came at 8.15 to drop off my mom's package. And my black nightgown, the, the same pink one that I showed you guys from Target, the black one came. So I put that in the bag where I'm collecting all of my hospital bag stuff. That one came via UPS too yesterday. But I was really waiting on my mom's album. He came at 8. 15 like a 12 or something yesterday um so my light is coming tomorrow by ups i know it's going to get here because U ups has been on point but he doesn't come until between 7 and 8 p.m it's already going to be dark outside so i know Ronnie's not going to want to do it but i'm gonna see if i can get him to put it up um but i don't know if he's going to put it up friday night it'll have to probably be saturday morning because i don't know what bulbs it takes so when it gets here, I have to open it and look at the instructions, see what type of bulbs it takes. And then I can go to Home Depot to get the bulbs because I know I don't already have any. Um, so, yeah. And I couldn't tell from looking online which bulbs it took. Um, so, yeah, that's going to be a bummer. So probably can't put it up tomorrow. But, um, yeah. I put up a vlog for you guys today. I showed you guys, and that one is called New Grass, finally. And I talk about my HOA violation in that one, so it's pretty funny. Um, but I've just been communicating back and forth with you guys on that. Um, I made a frozen pizza, DiGiorno pizza, for lunch for us. We ate that. We actually killed it. We crushed it. And for dinner, I made, I made some spaghetti yesterday from the Hello Fresh meal, the last box that they delivered. It was really good. It had fresh zucchini in it really good but it was made with ground beef my um my mom and ronnie were saying that the recipe would probably be even better if it was made with the ground um italian sausage meat too so ronnie was saying to keep that recipe card and that could be our new spaghetti recipe because it was really really good um and yes i did add some sprinkles of sugar in it um but anyway um so there's another meal that's like cherry chicken it has like a cherry uh, chicken with cherry glaze on it. I think it has carrots and rice. Um, I don't know that I'm going to feel up to cooking that today. So we may just have excuse me, some salmon or something. I don't know. I'm tired, guys. I've like been like really tired all day. I have been taking my iron supplement every morning, like they told me. But I don't think it's helped with my energy yet. But I'm also in my third trimester now. So maybe it's just time for me to always be tired. I don't know. Anywho, um, um, yeah, so I'm just working and that's about it. So, yeah, let me see if I can find what bulbs it takes because maybe I can get those tomorrow. And tomorrow I'm going to my brother's house to help my sister-in-law, um, what do you call it? make the balloon garland for Mia's like birthday get together or whatever. It's not gonna be anybody but us, but she still wants to decorate and have it nice for her. So um, I, I went to the storage unit to get the balloon machine and the ribbon. I found those things. So yeah, I'm gonna go over there tomorrow and um, I have to work and help do that. She said she wanted me to help her make some cookie things or something too. So I'll probably help with that tomorrow. And then Saturday is the actual event. Um, I'm not going to wrap her stuff. I'll probably put all of her accessories in a gift bag. I don't know what I'm going to do. I may wrap it because I do have a happy birthday paper somewhere. So I may wrap that, but I'm not going to wrap that big easel. She could forget it. Anywho, um, let me look on here and see. Um, so I bought a 42 inch chandelier, it has six lights on it. 
Ugh. Six lights. Um, it doesn't say what lights. 25 wattage light bulbs. This, yeah, it has a remote, but it doesn't say what type of lights. And I don't know if it's like the cand the chandelier base or the candelabra base bulbs or not. I don't know. Um, I don't know. It comes with two down rods, a four inch one and a 10 inch one. So I'll probably use the four inch one so it could be higher up in the ceiling. It's 42 inches the diameter, has a remote chrome finish, has crystals. Probably gonna have to attach all those crystals on it. It's three blades. Um, let's see, installation assembly instructions. Maybe it'll be on there. It'll tell me the bulbs I need because I have no idea. Oh Lord, this is small. I can't see. Lord. How do I zoom? This is tiny. Can you zoom on the internet? I don't think so. Can y'all hear him snoring? He's legit snoring. Yeah, I have to string all those crystals. Ugh, yeah. Okay. It doesn't say what type of light. Installing the light kit. Install six max 25 bulbs. But it doesn't say what type of bulbs. It don't say whether it's skinny base, candelabra base, regular base. And I don't want to buy six of them just for them to be wrong because those light bulbs are not cheap. So I guess I'll have to just wait until I see it. And then I'll get them on Saturday morning because it doesn't say. Yeah, but I'm excited. I'm really, really excited, actually. Anywho, I will talk to you guys later. I'm about to do a little bit more work, and then that's probably it for me today. I don't know. I'm tired. But I'll talk to y'all later. Bye. Okay, guys. So I looked at the question and answer section of Overstock, and it said it takes E12 bulbs. And I Googled it, and E12 is the candelabra-based bulbs. So... Six of those is going to be really bright. But actually, it's only 25 watts. So now I know which ones I can get. I usually get them from Home Depot. So, yeah. I'll see if Arnie wants to go tonight and give me those. <laughs> or tomorrow morning. Happy Friday, guys. It's Friday. It's 8.43. I think I'm only going to work a half a day today. Don't just excuse my hair. Whatever. Um, But I think I'm only going to work a half a day today because I need to go help um set up for Mimi's birthday thing for tomorrow but I have some good news they found my second rug <laughs> I told you guys the first one they found yesterday and delivered that one yesterday they found my second rug for the living room that one's coming today my fandelier for my master bedroom is coming today as well or tonight um my statement necklace for one of my maternity photo shoot looks is coming today um that's running water in the grass in front of the the doorbell what else is coming today i think the prints that i ordered for the nursery and also for well the frames in the nursery and um the gallery wall downstairs i think those are coming via U u.s postal service today um i got some clorox wipes that i ordered for my parents those came last night so yeah last time they were lysol this time they're clorox i ordered another three pack of lysol as well those will be here within the next probably two weeks so i'm just going to keep ordering them as i see them and as they become available um what else do i need to do today ronnie is going to try to till the rest of the grass on the other side of the sidewalk and then we're going to run to annapolis again at some point today to pick up the rest of the sod for that because he really wants to get that down it's supposed to be 86 here in the dmv today he said 
Um, hold on. Um, what else? I need to put these knobs on the doors upstairs. I put down the rug. It's so soft in her room. I really like it. Ronnie's like, you got a white rug for a baby's room, but it's not white, y'all. It's like ivory and it's a shag rug, but it looks really nice. Um, so yeah, I'm just waiting for that to come. Luckily, FedEx comes early around here, so I should have it by like 1.32, no later than 2. My necklace is coming before like 12 because it's out for delivery now, and then my Fandelier won't be here until tonight because that's UPS, so it is what it is. Um, the mailman usually comes between like three and four, so I should have the prints by then. And hopefully I'll work until probably about two, two thirty, and then I can go get the sod and go to my brother's house. That's what we're that's the plan for today. So yeah, I'm about to take my meds and then get to working. Okay, you guys, so it's still Friday. I'm still working. It's like 11, 15. Ronnie is tilling the outside. He said there's a lot of tree stumps and stuff, so I'm gonna have to put some topsoil down. But the machine, he borrowed the tiller machine from my neighbor. A piece of it came off, like the pool part came off, so he's unsure how to start it. So he's talking to the neighbor now. That's whose machine it owns the machine. So Ronnie's kind of annoyed that Basically, it malfunctioned and broke on his watch, but whatever. I went down there to give him some scissors, and I saw that Amazon brought a package here, which is my statement necklace, and I haven't even seen it yet, but let's see what it looks like. It's in a black packaging, and I ordered the pink one, so I want it to go with like my magenta future dress. Okay, let's try to get it out of here. Hold on for a second. Guys. Okay, guys. So this is how it looks. It's really pretty. It has like iridescent um, rhinestones, some white ones, some fuchsia pink ones. It's really, really pretty. So this is um, the one I'll wear with the fuchsia dress. Um, and I'll take some with this and then some with my flower crown. Because I think this and a flower crown is like overkill. So, yeah. That is the last piece of um, accessories that I purchased. I don't know when Ronnie's shirts are going to come. Um, I don't know, but whatevs. Anywho, I'm about to find me something to eat and then get back to work. Yeah, I caught that X. We got to go downstairs. Cause I think she she got my rug down there and something else, and then I see that my neighbor got a rug. I mean a, a package too, cause she's been waiting on her rug too. But I was coming on here to show you guys that um he put the top so, some topsoil down. I don't know. Oh, he went to go drop off um the dirt bags or whatever, and I don't know where else he went. But yep, I'm about to go downstairs and check for my rug. And there was something else that was supposed to come today. I showed y'all my necklace, my rug. Oh, my bandolier is coming for my bedroom, but it's coming UPS. So that's later on tonight. But let me go get my rug. Yeah, look what came. My rug. Ignore, you know, that's gifts and stuff. But ignore that stuff. That stuff won't be here. I have two chrome um, garden ceramic garden stools there, and I'm going to put a tufted ottoman there. I did bring home the white um, and chrome rectangle tray that I bought for the ottoman um I bought it like over a year ago but it was in storage like I said I need to play around with the stuff on the table but I really do like this rug better because it pulls in the blues the grays like it looks really really good what do you guys think I really like it I need to get my trash up but um it looks really good I did not go with a so this is the seven by nine I didn't want to go with the eight by ten because it would have went under the chair legs and it would have came all the way to the step here and I, I like the wood in my house so i want it to show so once i put the tufted ottoman there that is going to be the blue color um it will look like the rug is you know a good size for the room i understand that there's extra space over there but again i do plan to put the tufted tufted ottoman there in front of the fireplace but it looks 
so good y'all like i really like this rug this is a sapavea rug and i got it from overstock um i paid 105 dollars for it because i use a 17 percent off coupon but it is really really nice i don't typically you can see that i just unrolled it so yes i do need to let it like fall out and stuff but i don't typically put um like rub grippers or anything at the bottom when I put furniture on top of my rugs because they don't move with the furniture on them. So once that falls out, um, I'll bend it. I'll bend it under and it'll go back straight. This side is already straight, so it looks so 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 good, guys. It looks really really good. I love it. Um, so yeah, once I film it and everything, you know film the uh virtual baby shower hall all that stuff will be gone and put away and then you'll be able to see the room this stuff goes downstairs of course it doesn't stay up here but it looks so good y'all i'm so glad i sold the other rug and i decided to wait and i actually really like the coffee table i think i'm going to keep it ronnie's here um i think i'm going to keep it because it's a good size um and i think the one from z gallery would have been too big and it wouldn't allow for as much space to walk around the room so i really 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 like this y'all it looks so good for Mimi's birthday making the clusters now I blew up all of these and for the dessert table so yeah that's what's happening I'm making the clusters of three because I think that'll be easier and I just only have three over here so far made so I'm gonna just keep going and this is what I use I got it off of Amazon it's like 20 bucks okay guys so the garland is done and we're going to put it in an l shape across the top and drape it down the side so Ronnie's about to help me with that and then we'll be done this is how it turned out i'm going to put some filler balloons like in the areas right there but it's good enough so i got the balloon garland up i'm gonna straighten it a little bit tomorrow but then we got the happy birthday and then we're working on the backdrop and I put all the dessert stands out. Food is gonna go up against this wall. And then drinks are gonna go over there. Hey y'all, so I just got home and my bandolier is here. I'm so excited. I wanna check. Hey babe! Babe! I missed him. Go tell him to check the mail for me. But um Ronnie's shirts for the photo shoot came. I told you he got a pink one and a white polo button up and QX let's see so this is the pink one and it's really pretty and then the white one is the exact same it's just white hopefully So here are his two shirts for the um, photo shoot, the maternity photo shoot, 2X. We got a white button up, classic fit, and then he got a pink button up, classic fit. So hopefully they fit and all is well. Ugh. And I showed y'all my necklace earlier. It goes with it. That's my fandelier. And I want him to check the mailbox for... My, I guess I can check it for my um, prints that I ordered 